And because that's the context of what's going on there in this part of Isaiah, N.T. Wright argues, therefore, that this phrase, God's righteousness, well, actually in Isaiah, it's my righteousness, but God is the speaker, so it's God's righteousness, that this phrase, God's righteousness, is a technical term that essentially means God is going to restore Israel. It's a technical term for God's covenant faithfulness. But there's a problem with that way of doing word studies. And it's a problem that was recognized by an important scholar named James Barr in the middle of the 20th century called illegitimate totality transfer. So if you're ever in an argument with somebody, you, this is a great thing. You can say, oh, that's illegitimate totality transfer. <laughs> and then you've got them and they won't know what to say. But what that means is this. I'll give you an illustration of it, okay? It's when you take a, a word and you say, it's all packed in with all of this theological meaning. And therefore, it has all that meaning everywhere the word occurs. I'll give you an example. You know the word church in Greek is ekklesia, right? And if you look in, in Paul's writings, especially in Ephesians, ekklesia is used quite a bit in, in Ephesians, and it's filled with all this deep theological meaning, right? It's all about the body of Christ, and Christ is the head. It even has some cosmic idea, right? It's God filling all in all. It's wonderful stuff. Christ is the head, we're the bride all this deep theology. Now, illegitimate totality transfer is saying every time the word ekklesia occurs in the Greek New Testament, it has to mean all of that glorious theology. Well, that doesn't work. I'll give you an example. In Acts chapter 7, verse 38, in the speech of Stephen, he's going through the history of, of the people of God, and when he comes to Israel at Mount Sinai, he uses the word ecclesia. He says this, he says, this is the one, referring to Moses, who was in the ecclesia in the wilderness with the angel who spoke to him at Mount Sinai. So he's talking about the people of Israel gathered at Mount Sinai. He calls them the ecclesia in the wilderness, or the congregation in the wilderness. So. Are we to say then that, are we supposed to take all of that rich theology from Hebrews and from Ephesians and cram it into Acts 7, verse 38? No, that doesn't make any sense. That's not the, the correct interpretation of Acts 7, 38. That's illegitimate totality transfer. That's you're transferring the totality of, of a word that has a lot of other associations and then you're transferring it to every other occurrence of the word. I believe that this is pretty much what N.T. Wright did with righteousness. He's reading Isaiah, and he's reading all that glorious section in Isaiah 40 to the end uh, that deals with the restoration of Israel. And he sees all this glorious theology of the restoration of Israel and God's faithfulness to his covenant promises to Abraham in spite of Israel's sin. And then he crams all that theology into the word righteousness, as if the word righteousness itself means that. But it doesn't mean that in itself. It's not a technical term that, de that denotes all of that theology. It's a term that can be used in that context to refer to aspects of all that theology, but it doesn't actually mean all of that theology. And so that's what I think is going on with, with N.T. Wright. If you look at his latest book, Paul and the Faithfulness of God, another one of those massive thousand pagers, he has a section about 10 pages long where he deals specifically with this issue of what does the righteousness of God mean in the Old Testament. And he basically just quotes all these verses, verse after verse after verse from Isaiah, and the Psalms and Daniel and says, see, it means God's covenant of faithfulness because that's what the context is talking about. Yeah, but there's a lot of words used in there. They don't all mean covenant of faithfulness, right? <laughs> so you have to be careful not to do this, this mistake of transferring the totality of a, mean, of a word's usage into every occurrence of the word.